Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, October 3rd, 1887. What? Howard's Village. Stick over it, okay? Should you go away for school? Question number six, is it easy to make friends? FSU or FAMU? Hey girls, it's Ken K, your favorite bougie bae, and I am back again with another video. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. If you're returning, as always, thank you so much for tuning in to my video. I do have some q and I have some questions that I have for my TikTok, so be sure you're following me on TikTok so you could be in my next video. Now, coming to this video, I know you have a ton of questions. You are a freshman, you're scared, you don't know what to do, you don't know your major, you don't know if you wanna go away. I got all the answers for you. Don't worry, subscribe right now, turn on your post notification bell, and let's get right into my video. All right, you a freshman, girl, girl or guy, make sure you know what school you want to go to. If you're going away for school, highly recommend. Let's get into the first question. The first question is, should you go away for school? Yes, you should go away for school. It teaches you independence, it teaches you discipline, you learn more about yourself going away for school. Freedom, hello. You wanna be away from your parents? Definitely head over to an away school. Going out of your town, going out of your hometown, you develop so much more than sitting at home and staying home. If you have parents that don't wanna let you go away for school, go away for school anyway. You're 18, you are legally an adult. If you're in Caribbean household, it's a little bit more shaky, a little bit more difficult because you know, Caribbean parents, they want you to do what they want you to do when they say do it. Go away for school, you won't regret it. Question number two, do you get homesick? Yes, you will get homesick. My personal experience, I was homesick for about two weeks. The first night hit me very hard. I was in Gibbs Hall at FAMU. It's one of the dorms, one of the older dorms. I forgot what year it was built, but mm, highly don't recommend Gibbs Hall. I love the people, but I was more of a young hall village type of girl because I'm super, you know, if you like more of the newer, modern, up-to-date towers, village, stick over it, okay? You will get homesick. You will get over it because you are introducing something new to yourself. You're used to being around family, you're used to the parties, you're used to all that good stuff. You will get homesick, sorry. Question number three. Describe living on campus in three words. Tiring, confusing, fun. <laughs> three words. Tiring, I would definitely say walking on campus. Those hills will have you tired. You won't have a car. You will have to walk to class from your dorm. You'll have to get up early. Don't take AM classes. Do not take 8 AM classes. You will regret it later down the line. FAMU is a party school. FSU is a party school. There's a lot of parties on the weekend starting from Friday, Saturday, brunch in on Sunday. You don't wanna have that 8 AM that Monday morning, okay? You wanna have like 10 45-ish classes and you wanna use Rate My Professor to look at the professor before you sign up for your class so you know what you're getting yourself into. Trust me when I say use Rate My Professor. <laughs> Question number quattro. Can you take your car? No, you cannot take your car. Your car has to stay home wherever you are. I'm personally from Miami. My car stood back in Miami. You have to live on campus for two years, I think. Two years, you have to live in a dorm. There is off-campus apartments that's probably about like five, six, seven minutes away. It's literally on campus, but it's not. It's a little bit further out. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. It's literally in the same bubble of the school. It's literally out. You have to take the family shuttle to get to class. If you wanna walk from your apartment to the class thing, let me tell you, it's going to be a very long walk. You're gonna be tired, it's hot. FAMU heat, Tallahassee heat in general, it's a different type of heat. If you're some from South Florida, you know we're not used to all the hills. This type of heat is a different type of heat. I don't know, it might be California heat. I don't know what type of heat they got going on in Tallahassee, Florida, but it gets really hot. I was the bougie type to walk with an umbrella to see at the class. 
Okay. Question number five. How does financial aid work? Financial aid is basically loans that you take out each semester. Now with that, there's unsubsidized and there's subsidized. Good thing is the orientation leaders that are a group of people that has signed up, which is kind of like your advisors in a sort of way, but student edition, you will have them explain that to you during orientation week and I will get into orientation week later down in the video. They will explain it to you real, real, real good. And you do have to pay those back if you do have a full rider scholarship that is 20 times better now i don't know what's going on with the biden administration what he has going on but he had my vote for me getting my loans removed and being debt free so we're still working on that you can go ahead and follow the process of what they have going on i will link it in the description down below question number six is it easy to make friends? It depends on your personality trait. I didn't really have a difficult time making friends because most of the people that I grew up with from elementary, middle school, and high school transitioned over to FSU or FAMU. Now, when it comes to meeting new people, you will be walking on campus. You will be going to the caf, the cafes, like the cafeteria where you eat food. You will be in group projects. So it will come natural to you. Just be open. Don't be so standoff ish and force yourself to talk you have to talk to people even if you're a little bit shy just force yourself to be more out there now what has definitely helped me is taking speech class that is a class that you have to take I was more so on a nursing route so we had to take SLS which is freshman orientation class and it you have to stand up and speak in from the whole classroom that has helped me tremendously with speaking to people and speaking my mind and being very vocal about what I had going on. I love that class. That class is very, very good. Um, I took speech at Miami Dade Community College. That teacher was very, very good. I don't know her name, but if I find her on Rate My Professor, I will link her in the description down below so you guys can check her out. She has taught me so much. Now, there's like a lot of stuff you have to memorize speech-wise. That's a whole different, whole different thing, whole different ballgame. I still don't know what major I want. What do I do? You have to figure it out. You cannot take too long to pick what major you want to do. You will end up wasting your time and you will be in college for years. You don't want to be in college for eight years plus, unless you're doing pharmacy major. Now, I do have a friend that's in the pharmacy route and you will come in, whatever your class is, and you will be in school for like six years plus. Now, kudos to her, kudos to all my girls, my pharmacy, farm D babes that are getting to the bad for your bachelor's degree it will be four years your associates is two years i went to college for a health science degree a degree in public health basically and this is my degree right here it's so cute you have to work very 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 hard for this degree and i understand why the teachers brag about it in high school because this is this piece of paper is very 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 difficult to get and i will brag forever on this degree because it took me a very long time uh actual like thing i didn't put it in a little thing here is my degree health science it just says health science on there but yeah that's what it's giving girl it's really cute i love my degree so much she's gonna make me money but she's a plan b <laughs> I do have one more question. It, FSU or FAMU? FAMU. Now, if you're going to FSU, don't worry. You will be in communication and seeing your FSU friends. They are neck and neck. Literally, they're like two minutes away. It's walking distance if you don't have a car. I have walked to one of my parties before on that little FSU strip. There is a ton of parties. Now, the questions are done. I'm going to do answer a little few more knickknacks because I know some of you still have a lot of questions. Now, when you're getting about and you don't have a car, you can't take Uber, you can't take Lyft, but you have to be careful, check the tag, be careful riding groups because people are crazy. My story short, people are crazy. When you out drinking, make sure you put a little napkin over your cup, right, and punch the straw in the cup so people don't drug you and stuff. This is literally not what college in general, this is just in life in general. That's what I've seen on TikTok, and I recommend for you to do that so you can be safe. 
don't be drunk and sloppy when you go out to the party know your limit and if you want to get drunk make sure one friend is completely sober i don't care what nobody say i don't care if anyone everybody want to drink make sure one person is completely sober you don't want to drink and drive you don't want to dui and that's that okay orientation orientation is basically welcoming from famu and they will teach you everything about FAMU. They'll teach you. They will knock these chances to your head. I am Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, October 3rd, 1887. What? They will teach you that. <laughs> you will learn it literally the first day of orientation day. Orientation week is literally probably about five Four to five days, I don't really know. Maybe it's seven days, I don't remember. I went to FAMU from 2018 to 2022. I graduated April 30th, 2022. It was the best day of my life, my biggest accomplishment, and I really recommend for everybody to go away for school. You learn so much about yourself, you learn so much about what you wanna be out of life, your purpose, you just meet new people, you network. There's a lot of nice people out there. Fam, you is the school for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share it to your friend that will be a Rattler. Cause I am a Rattler, I am a FAMU alumni. I am Kendra K, serial entrepreneur. I am a YouTube personality. I have a podcast, which is Self Help for Women, Empower Women Worldwide to amplify their inner goddess, point blank, period. I have a beauty business. The beauty business boutique is for exclusively for women by women, by black women at that. For bold, bougie, and unapologetic women. And I hail from the 305 Miami, Florida. They will teach you how to properly introduce yourself, period. Don't be scared when it's orientation, y'all sitting in the classroom and you guys are introducing yourself because they will teach you how to be vocal. <laughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe and tune into my next video. Check out my other video that I have. I reviewed SWV and escapes new show i do have a ton of weekly vlogs fashion try on hauls i will be trying to take a picture today for a fashion boutique no fashion style you can use my code dolly can k to save money on your order and yeah so i'll talk to you guys in the next video